Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel, Belinda here from Visualized NZ and today is Trash Craft Tuesday and the name of the game is Crafting with Trash. So today I am working with some goodies that the lovely Selena in Australia sent to me in Happy Mail. This really cool, um, what do you call it, cutlery holder pocket thing. So if you go out to a restaurant, you get cutlery in these. Now, they're not something that I've come across here in New Zealand. Um, so Selena sent me a few different ones to play with. And I haven't played with them yet because, like, they are cool. Like, and once I use them, they are gone. I have since had one, and I can't remember where I got it from, but we were out at a restaurant and the cutlery came in a pocket. But different again to this. So, she also sent me in a different Happy Mail a bunch of used envelopes, which, you know, if you're a junk journaler, you know, just used envelopes are just, just so wonderful. And I thought, can I replicate this out of an envelope? Mmm, what are the chances? What are the odds? How successful? But that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. So, an old used envelope and I'm going to try and make one of these out of this. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same, but we're going to give it a whirl. So, strap in, guys, and let's get creating. So, my first move is to cut this to the right height. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So, I'm just going to use the actual one to chop a bit off the top of the envelope. And it doesn't matter too much as long as it fits in a journal. So I could go a bit shorter, actually. Should I measure, measure it against a journal page? Maybe that's a good, a good starting point. Because I actually do not know. So it's pretty much, it's almost full height of a journal page. Um, just slightly under. So I can afford to take a little bit off if I want. But I could make it the exact height also. So I'm just going to take it a little bit shorter. Just a fraction. Remove that now and chop. So can we use that for something? Probably. Not going to throw it away just yet. So we have this. Now it's obviously wider. But does that matter we can we could leave it that width i don't want to i want to try and replicate this size so i want to i'm just wondering how i'm going to do that um bear with me i'm just working this out so i'm going to try and open this side bit up with the the little flap here i'm trying to Gosh, words are escaping me. Whatever this bit's called, this little flappy bit that closes the envelope, I don't want to cut it as my thing. I'm going to try and ease it up. And there, we got it up without too much damage. So that's a bonus. Otherwise I would have had to rethink my plan. Well, not that I've got a plan, but you know, where I was heading. So what I want to do now is I do want to trim it to this size. So I'm going to make a pencil mark. Um, the back on this is actually narrower than this front side bit, but I think it doesn't have to be. I don't think that's deliberate. I have a feeling it's not deliberate. So I'm just going to maybe mark for the wider part lift it up a bit there and I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna trim this back part so the bit without the window and hopefully this will work um, for what I think I'm trying to achieve <laughs> there's lots of guessing going on here right so we have this bit here and we have this bit that folds up 
just like our flap on the bottom of this folds up at the bottom like you are making any sort of gusseted or library style pocket now we've still got this wide bit and I was hoping that we could use the flap to flap it onto the side of a page or something but it's not going to work unless we left the back the whole width so I think I'm just going to replicate it as is so this side I want to come out a little bit because it needs to wrap around to close I don't know if I'm making sense I hope I am so let's just trim that bit off I've done it now so okay and I need to trim this bit the flap at the bottom because we don't need all that so I'm just going to cut off this corner oops probably needed to do a bit more of an angle on that otherwise we could run into issues take a bit more fold this I'm not going to glue it down yet I just want to make sure that I know where everything's sort of lining up so it's going to be a cutlery pocket but with a window that's that's where I'm headed and then our little flap will close at the bottom there so that's cool so this one has got a really nice cool can you see that shape how it sort of curves around really cute I love that shape I'm not going to replicate it exactly I could you know kind of line it up and try and draw it I'm just going to do a draw so the front is lower than the back so we're going to start down here and come around and do a curve something like that just very it needs to be a bit straighter I think just my interpretation of that curve and you could make it whatever shape you like because of all the ones that Selena sent me they've all got totally different shapes so now I'm going to cut out that piece so right on the fold lines there and then along that pencil line just giving it a bit of interest a little bit of flair so here we go it's a little snippet probably use that in college so theoretically if we close it all up again fold on our side and then our bottom yeah bottom I think so I've got a I ended up with a little gap here because I trimmed it slightly too much um, or I actually could fold that in closer I didn't fold it in close enough to the other piece into this piece so that's probably I'm just going to leave it because I I'm not worried a little bit of a gap there is not going to affect anything so we have a fairly similar ish shaped top and we probably don't need that bit there either so we can take that off like so yep that's cool and this has rounded corners on the top of it and I love rounded corners so we're going to do that oops oh, I'm knocking stuff over yet again I'm going to have to pop you on pause, I'm afraid. The doorbell's just going. We'll be back in a moment. Sorry about that. Just had a friend call in, so it's been a few minutes chatting with her. And let's get back to business here. She, I, she's having to move, so I just purchased something off her that she was downsizing uh, as a gift for someone in the family when it comes to a time of needing a gift for them. So there we go, we have, how did we go? I think that looks pretty darn close. A little bit shorter because I cut it shorter. And it's got this fun window. Just an added little bonus bit of something. Oops, getting that back. So 
probably do I want to decorate it? Do I want to close it up first and then decorate it? I think I might close it first. Yeah, I'm going to close it first. So let's glue it up. I don't know which way it will be easier, so it possibly is easier to to um, decorate it first, but, uh, sorry, decorate it, yeah, decorate it first and then glue it up, but I'm just going to go ahead, because I won't know until I do, so just a line of glue on the edge of this and a line on the edge of that is absolutely sufficient to close that, and uh, I've got a little bit of paper lifted there, so I'm just going to glue that down. Just a tiny wee bit of glue under that and around this bottom flap. That was the original flap that we managed to peel up. Side flap on the envelope is now the bottom flap on our little cutlery pocket. Oh, I'm super pleased with that. I think that turned out really cool. Now, I just realized it would have been easier to decorate it before gluing it up because of this curve. So obviously with one that you get from a restaurant you don't have that option of decorating it because it, it's already glued together and you've just got to deal with that. So I'm going to be replicating that as if I was using one um, but had I thought about it I would probably decorate it first like collage it up um, just so it's easier to deal with this curve so got myself into a little trap there so for this I was thinking Selena also sent me some beautiful napkins so I've got a f I think I'm missing one out of what she sent me here um, that I've been using maybe two I don't know I can't remember um, but it was like I'm trying not to hoard things and I've been just setting all this stuff aside because it's it's precious and it was sent to me with love and but it's not doing any good just sitting not being used so I'm trying to use and I really love this napkin here isn't it just gorgeous with all the bugs and the butterflies and the moths and feathers and all vintagey and just super gorgeous so let's take the back off I don't know whether it's two or three layers. Three layers, I think. So we'll take the first white layer off. It's a nice big one too. So I keep all these bags. Let's take the next layer off. Sometimes a little bit hard to start, and I don't like using tape to tear it off because it damages it. And I like to keep it intact. So that one was actually quite easy. Just kind of work at the corner until they start to peel apart and then grab it with your fingernail. A little bit harder, I think, probably if you haven't got much of a fingernail. Right, so let's see what we can do with this. So, of course, we've got a window to deal with. We've got a curve to deal with. It's going to be a little interesting. So I'm tempted to try something. I hope this works. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to use that. Here's an off cut of wallpaper. That will do. Just want to cut something large enough to slide down inside there going to help me deal with that curve right. so I was just looking for a scrap bit of paper and this wallpaper was what I found so we're just going to use this
yep like that okay and it's just so I'm not gluing everything so now I will grab this back so I can glue on it I'm gonna glue I'm trusting that this is going to work I've got no guarantees so it's a real test as to whether this is actually going to work and I need to get right up to the edge of that window with the glue stick I don't want to go on the window but I want to go right up to the edge of it so. this could be a video titled um, like Everything you don't do when you're creating a cutlery pocket. Depends. The proof will be in the end result. Let's all learn some things along the way. Right. Because I'm certainly learning as I go, making it up as I go. Okay, so that's, I think, well enough covered in glue. I'm going to grab my serviette here and I'm just going to go with this bottom bit because not going to try and get any particular spot I think it's all it's all pretty okay. smooth it down like so now I'm going to take a water brush oh is there enough water in there might be might get away with it And I think I'll wrap the napkin around on the back. Oops. So I'll do a little bit wider. Come on, water. Why aren't you coming out very well? Maybe because it's running low. So I'm just going to go right around the whole thing start like so it'll make it a little bit easier to deal with right now I'm going to come in And try and follow the top of this. Oops, now I'm getting heaps of water out. So I can actually see the edge of that curve. Try and tear it along that line. Might have to do a little tidy up, but that's okay. It's actually stuck to the wallpaper. Pulling the wallpaper at the same time. It's a little bit raggedy, but that's okay. And it's come in a bit there. But other than that, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to come in along the edge of the window, which is a little bit trickier. Oh gosh, I'm getting so much water out now. If at the end of the day it's a bit messy, we'll just cover the problem areas over. That's what I'm thinking. But we're not afraid of a little distressed look, are we? We're junk journalists. Oh, and just peel out our window. Sorry, birdie. Just took your tail off. Oh, I actually really like. I don't know if you can see how um, like kind of raggedy is is along the window. I actually really like that. I think that looks cool. Okay. 
<clears throat> so what am I looking for? Bring this back. Glue stick. I'm losing things. My desk is getting cluttered. Which is not fun. And I'm honest, I'm a little bit thrown off my game. Because I was all set. I was ready to go. And then with the interruption, I'm just having trouble sort of settling back into it. And getting my thoughts back. So I'm just very carefully applying glue to the napkin. I could just cut it off, but I'm going to wrap it round. And I'll just trim off the bottom because I haven't really got enough there to wrap around. Lump of glue on the side. So this could go on a page, glued onto a page and used as a pocket or it could go inside another pocket or a tuck spot because it's nice and, and narrow. I'm not sure which way I want to, to go with it um, and it will probably depend on the journal. So I'm going to leave the back of it for now. Um, because if I glue it down to a page and use it like as a side tuck or something, there's absolutely no point in covering the back. I can cover the back in writing paper or decorative paper at any stage. So I'm going to just ignore that for now until I use it in a journal. And then I'll decide what I need to do with the back. I'm just trimming up a little bit of the overhang here. just around this curve because things will be going in and out of that I think that is lovely what a lovely vintagey look I'm going to give it some ink I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. What's your what's your creativeness look like today? What are you busy making or doing that's creative? I hope you've got time in your day to be creative. I am recording this actually on Sunday because I am anticipating that I'm going to be out all day Monday and I would normally be recording this video on Monday. So I just would really like to go to Hubby's work tomorrow with him and see the reactions to a new car because it's, it's really a different car. We've only come across one other person who knows about this particular model car and so I just think it's going to be fun to be there and see the reactions and hubby's going to get his boss to go for a little ticky tour in it and um yeah i just think it's going to be really fun and if there's no space inside the office for me to hang out i can hang out in the car because the front seat the passenger seat folds down and there's a picnic table on the back so i can sit in the back seat of the car fold the seat down and have a little table there to work on like how awesome is that for like when we go on holidays or road trips or something that I could actually take stuff and have an inbuilt little table right there for me to just fold down and work at. I mean, couldn't be more perfect, could it? Not easily. Right, loving the way the ink comes up on that. Right. What else would I like to do? I'm almost like it doesn't need much else. Maybe we could add a little label. So I've got, got feathers <laughs> and little labels. These are from the Junk Journal Studio. Put a little label somewhere. Oh, that's quite cute. 
just there. Let's give that a little bit of an inky frame out. Just darken that edge up a little. I don't imagine I will be hanging out in the car doing my crafting tomorrow, but, um, you know, it is a possibility. We, I could actually do it. It will probably get a bit warm, though. A bit warm. You know, cars are sun traps, aren't they? Although it does have tinted windows. Uh, we thought it was only the back, the back ones, the back passengers and the rear window, but it, actually all of them are tinted. Um, so it cuts on glare and it will probably keep it slightly cooler I think too right so we've got a little label do we want a little something up here could go with a little word just want something small Of everything's on this side, maybe I should have put this on the other side. I don't think it matters, we'll just go with it. You know, I'm trying not to think too much. Yes, probably the label should go over here, and the, then the word up there would be balanced, but it's not the end of the world. Let's just do it. So, my wee word here is tranquil, and this is out of a set of my printables available on Etsy uh, Vertical Words Plus is the name of the kit. And they're all done on eco-dyed paper that I've done. The background is, is scanned from eco-dyed paper that I've made. So it's my little self-plug there. So mostly vertical words, but there's a few um, quotes or sayings and a, just a couple of other words that are horizontal. Hence the plus part of the title of the kit. Right, there we go. We could balance it out by putting something there. Um, could go with a butterfly. Just want something little. I'm looking for the smallest butterfly I can find. Maybe this one, because there's butterflies on the napkin. If we've got a different colour, that's a sort of a pale blue. There's a green one. Oops. Slightly bigger. Maybe it's this yellow one. Oh, I like the yellow one. Okay, let's go with that one. I think I need to reprint them at this size. I don't seem to have that many of them left. Oops, I just stamped my finger in the ink pad. Isn't that just a whole lot of ridiculousness and mess? I just missed with my brush and hit the stamp pad with my finger. <laughs> oh yeah, the adventures of a crafter. You could really write a um, some sort of comic, couldn't you? The adventures of the craft room and there's a whole lot of us crafters and we'd all get humor I think so, yep it's a dangerous place being in the craft room avalanches of supplies inhaling glitter <laughs> either inhaling it or accidentally breathing too heavily and it blows all over the room yep been there done that um, what other funny things have do we do dipping your paintbrush in your coffee? I've done that too. I've drunk my paint water because I picked it up instead of my coffee. Um, what else? Have you got any funny stories of things that go wrong in the craft room? Let me know. I'd love to hear some funny stories about silly things that happen in the craft room. It doesn't matter if I've already mentioned them. If they've happened to you, tell me those too. Like, let's share in the the craziness of this crafting life, which is super fun. Wouldn't have it any other way. 
Right, I think that's looking pretty darn cool. I'm happy with that. Love how distressed this edge looks. In fact, I could... I'm just going to grab my glue page here. I could just go in. I just want to protect the plastic a little bit. The acetate in the window. And just give it a little bit of ink. To frame out that window a little bit. Should have done it before I stuck the butterfly on. Never mind. Being careful because I don't want to damage the, the napkin. No. Afterthought, really. It's an afterthought. But still achievable. I need a little bit more ink on my brush don't want to press too hard and damage anything yeah subtle subtle I think I would call it but I think you'll be able to see it okay so the last thing so remember I'm Probably going to glue this to a page, but I'll sort that out. If I don't, then I'll just cover that in writing paper of some description. So inside our little cutlery, faux cutlery holder, I'm going to grab a sheet of coffee dyed paper, and I'm going to concertina it up, and so it fits inside our little cutlery holder. Stay within that, we should be good. Ooh, hubby's coming out of the bedroom. He's having a nap right now. Well, was having a nap. But he's just opened the door. Might be letting a cat out. But I'm almost finished. Right, and then I've got a little bit overhang there, so I'm just going to trim that off. About there. I'm almost done, darling. Won't be long. So I could decorate this up, I could stamp on it, and I possibly will. Um, I do want to round the corners on it to mimic our little pocket here. And I'm going to do all the corners, because I like that effect. Oh, it's quite hard to get through all those layers. We've got creaky floorboards, so I don't know if you can hear them. As hubby's walking around. Our house is uh, 104 years old this year. So she's allowed some creaky floorboards, isn't she? Okay, so there we have, I love how we get these little divots here on the folds when you punch around the corners when it's folded. And I might ink around it, I'm not sure, I'm just kind of on a bit of a mission. And then I'll pop it in there and then probably put something in here so that it shows through our window. But even so, even without anything decorative there, I actually still like that look. I think that's pretty cool. I am super happy. So this is the original, the authentic cutlery holder that I based my design on. Um, super fun and I'm so happy that I can replicate it fairly easily so what do you think how did it stack up I'm pretty happy I've got my paper taller than the pocket I might need to trim that down actually because that was close to being full height of a page let's just have a look 
yeah slightly sticking up over what my typical page would be the height of it so again it will depend on the journal I might trim that down a bit more um, but I think I'll wait and see because I also don't mind if it does stick up a little bit because I always have some gap around between my cover and my pages so there we go that's Trash Craft Tuesday. I hope you found this inspiring and useful. Um, give it a go. Just make your own shape top. Um, use up some of those envelopes and make a really cool narrow little pocket. Also a tag would look awesome in there as well. If you don't want to do the folded paper, make a tag. It'd be just simply awesome. Thanks for joining me today guys. Take care and I'll be back for tomorrow's video. Bye for now.